Hey, what's up? It's Ethan. I am now seven months on testosterone. Over the past month, I have been making more of an effort to work out in the gym, and I have definitely noticed the recovery time has decreased. I bounce back after a workout quicker, um, but I've also noticed that during the workout, I'm not tiring as quickly. Um, I, I certainly don't have a level of stamina, um, but I definitely feel like my workouts are building on themselves quicker than they used to. Each, each week, each day when I go back to the workout plan, I'm just getting more out of it and that's, that's really great. So in terms of getting fitter, putting on muscle, losing weight, all of these things have been, I would definitely say positively impacted by being on testosterone. Um, I'm not necessarily overly conscious that my voice has dropped much more. Just in general, I do feel more comfortable with my voice. I do feel like it's deeper. Um, I'll stick a voice comparison later on in the video anyway. And certainly, recently I've looked back at some previous videos just because I'm going to be um, tweaking around a bit with just titling and descriptions and tags and stuff on my channel, uh, thumbnails, just generally tidying things up. Um, so looking back at some of my earlier videos, both pre-starting testosterone and the early days in testosterone, I can see the change in it. Um, I kind of feel like my hairline is different than what it used to be. I wouldn't necessarily have changed in this, like this month, but just over the time I've been on it, um, because I was at the barber today, I just I kind of noticed it in the mirror and it made me feel like, I think it's just square across my brow, where I feel like it used to be just a bit more, I don't know, soft and curvy. Um, I don't know, does that make sense? I think it makes sense. Um, what else is different? So, I made a decision um, to do a highly scientific experiment and test out my body hairs growth because I really feel, particularly across my stomach and um, my chest, that hair is definitely still coming in more. I feel like my legs are getting a wee bit bushier, um, I'm becoming kind of more conscious of it on my arms getting darker. I did try to take some photos of that to show but it doesn't show up enough in photos yet. Um, but in natural light to actually look at, I am becoming more conscious of it, it's definitely changing. So what I decided to do was test this out on my stomach because at least I will be dressed and so it will hide. Um, okay basically what I've done is I've literally just shaved a landing strip up my stomach and I'm going to see how long it takes for the stubble to start coming through, for the hair to start growing back in again and for it to just even out so that you would never know I have conducted this highly scientific experiment. Um, it has actually been a week since I shaved that strip in and there, there is definite stubble going on there so a week on from shaving it it's coming in again um, so what I actually decided to do this morning was to shave off the fuzz on my face um, there, there was definite prominent face fuzz which I'm going to scoot over this side and I'm going to put here um, not evenly balanced as you can see one side has more fuzz going on than the other um, so basically the darker bits were just at like my, the side of my face there was a bit of darker bits going on the moustache and a lot of peach fuzz kind of in between um, even now I can feel it's it's rough at the side and it's it's rough here um, 
at the top corners of my lips and that's only been I don't know like 12 hours since I shaved 15 hours, I don't know, it's been like half a day and I can feel it's rough where there was darker hair so I am going to over the course of the next month and then I'll update you on my 8 month video just see how long it actually takes for these darker hairs to come in um, I'm hoping over the course of the next few months as I'm now into the latter half of my first year on testosterone that some more hair will keep coming through um, still playing on my mind is the idea of adding in minoxidil just to encourage the follicles that are growing the peach fuzz to kick themselves into gear and grow proper hair but I'm conflicted because I really want to see what just what natural changes come in their own time um, so I'm going to hold off at least until my one year on testosterone mark and then reconsider that's about it really there's nothing else I'm overly conscious of having changed um, there's been a lot of other stuff going on um, you'll have seen some recent videos talking about issues I'm having with referral for my top surgery which basically right now is the biggest problem I'm facing um, but I've done other videos for that and I'm going to keep doing separate updates for it and then I'll just compile it all into a top surgery playlist for when I start actually having progress. Um, yeah, uh, we'll fire in a quick voice comparison. Hello, my name is Ethan. It is the 4th of October 2017 and this is my voice one month on testosterone. Today is the 4th of November 2017 and this is my voice two months on testosterone. Today is the 4th of December 2017 and I am three months on testosterone. This is my voice four months on testosterone. This is my voice five months on testosterone. This is my voice six months on testosterone. This is my voice seven months on testosterone and yeah I think that's really it for now there's nothing I can think of I've maybe missed the odd wee thing I'm not feeling any different um, everything is stable and balanced and fine life is busy that's kind of all compiling into I'm feeling quite tired a lot but that's just because there's so much going on um, I'm very soon going to start catch up mode with blog posts I've got to finish writing and editing and publish um, I know I still have some other content to update with you guys here uh, things with the collaborative channel are going great I have updates to do for that because I'm behind and I feel like this is the story of my life right now that hi my name is Ethan and I'm very behind with everything um, but yeah I am um, seven months on testosterone so I'm now quite quickly racing towards the one year mark. The next few months for me will be over summer before I start my honours year and there's some big big changes I want to see happening over the next few months so we'll tackle them as time comes around and I'll see you next time. Bye!